Hello everyone, that manga kid here, back with another manga rereads review thing where I review a series um, that I recently reread. This particular series, High School Debut by Kazune Kawahara, I have read I think six or seven times. I've lost count at this point, but I just recently finished rereading it, so I figured I would talk about it. Um, Kazune Kawahara, if you don't know, is the author, not the artist, but the author of My Love Story, uh, which seems to be pretty popular right now. Um, I have read what's out uh, in physical release of My Love Story, um, and there are similarities between the writing. Um, but this one, both the art and the story, are by Kazune Kawahara. So, High School Debut, if you don't know, is about Haruna this girl on the cover here. Um, she's just starting high school. She was really into softball in middle school. She gave everything to sports. Um, but now she's in high school and she wants to get a boyfriend. She wants to be popular. She wants to um, have her high school debut, basically. Um, she's trying. She's reading uh, shoujo manga. She's reading fashion magazines. She's doing everything she can and she's just not getting it right. No boys are paying attention to her, and it's just not working, and she doesn't know why. Um, so anyway, she runs into Yo, the guy on the cover, uh, in a club. He picks up her shoe for her and helps her up because she tripped. Um, she thinks, wow, he's so attractive, and what a nice guy. Um, and she's like, wow, he looks really put together, like he could get a lot of dates and whatnot. So she finds out he goes to her school and she decides to beg him to be her coach. So she wants him to coach her on how to be attractive uh, to guys. And so after some encouragement from his sister and his friends, they get him to say yes to Haruna and to, to coach her. So his one condition being, you cannot fall in love with me. Of course, this is shoujo manga. What happens? The two of them fall for each other. Uh, shocker. Spoiler. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the story of them, kind of, because Yo continues to pretty much coach her, I guess, even when they're dating, um, but it's the story of their relationship and first love, because Yo has only had one girlfriend previous to Haruna, so he's not even an expert on dating. And Haruna's never been in a relationship before, so this is really just a story of first love and figuring things out. Um, Yo is a year older than her, um, so he's in his second year of high school, she's in her first year. Um, it goes through the regular shoujo tropes of girls bullying her because she's dating the hot guy, and um, it introduces love triangles and rivals and things like that. Um, but at the core of it, this is a friend-oriented story of an ensemble cast. Um, all kind of just hanging out in high school. Um, I really liked this because even though it is over dramatic in the sense that, you know, these characters are flamboyant and, and like boisterous more so than regular humans are, um, at the core, they are very, very real. They have very real emotions and react to situations in very real ways. Um, I think my favorite part of this series is Haruna. She is so dedicated and wonderful. Like, she's just a genuinely good person, um, and you're rooting for her. She's not a typical shoujo heroine. She understands her emotions and feelings and is trying to work through them. Um, you know, when, when she gets jealous at certain points of other girls being around Yo, she works through it and, and realizes that it's not his fault for being around those girls and it's not, you know, their fault for liking him or wanting to be around him. That's an emotion that she has um, that she needs to work through. And, you know, it's just, it's very pleasant to see. And I love, um, I love shoujo manga. And if you love shoujo manga, then, you know, you're probably feeling the same thing of the first love, like the butterflies in your stomach and stuff. And I just love how this story portrays that because it's not completely innocent in the fact that like they do um, in a very high school 
16 year old sense discuss how to be physically intimate with each other. Um, this is not an, an explicit or trashy story, um, but it's very realistic in the sense that like teenagers don't like to talk about sex. They like to think they're ready and then just aren't, um, but they don't want to have the mature conversations that lead up to that moment. They just want to kind of like have it happen um, because they're in love and whatever, right? So this, this story really tackles that of the innocence of first love, but also the um, how naive they are and and how awkward those situations can be. Um, overall, this is one of my favorite romantic comedy manga I've ever read. Um, it's just so wonderful, and if you haven't read it, I highly, highly suggest you do. Um, the art is pretty generic shoujo kind of art. It's nothing to cry or to call home about. Like, it's, it's just, it is what it is. It's not bad, and I don't hate it. It's not my favorite art I've ever seen in my life. Um, I just love the passion. These characters are all so passionate um, about everything. Like, it's just so much fun to read because these characters are all fun people. Um, and it just... It's hard to describe why I love this so much. It just is very... It just strikes a chord with me, I think. Um, Haruna's honesty with herself and with other people is so refreshing with a shoujo protagonist. Um, you're just rooting for her, because she's the girl who's not the popular, pretty girl, conventionally pretty. It's not that she isn't pretty, it's that people don't believe that she is for some reason. Um, she's very muscular and has her own strengths and weaknesses that happen to be different from other people's and it's just really cool to see how this guy who is a popular guy but quite um, quiet and reserved um, despite being super attractive he's not approachable because he always looks angry um, but she brings this friendliness out of him and more people become attracted to him um, and want to talk to him because he's more friendly now that he's around her and she becomes more popular because people start to realize, wait a second, this girl actually has redeeming qualities. She's a good person and is fun to be around and is an extremely hard worker in everything that she does. And it's just so wonderful to see these characters grow because this, this series spans their entire high school life. So you just get to see a couple years of growth for them and the characters really do mature and become wonderful people um it's just so much fun to read and watch and and see these characters grow together um and it's refreshing this is absolutely i recommend this to people who have never read manga before if they want to pick up a romance series i recommend this to people who've been reading manga for years and years and years and just haven't got to this one yet um this is a great story for anybody any age any uh, experience with manga and anime like I just love this story so much and if you've read my love story and you haven't read this one um, I highly recommend it because Kazune Kawahara is an amazing storyteller and if you liked my love story you'll absolutely find something redeeming in this one because the humor is there and it's and the storytelling and the romance and just like the unconventional couple but they're so good together um, is very similar in this one to, um, and the same in my love story. Um, yeah, so High School Debut, if you have not picked it up yet, I highly recommend you do. If you have any questions about it, or you've read it and have any comments about it, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to chat about it. This is one of my favorite series. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't already and would like to, please subscribe, and thanks for watching. See ya.